Good morning, boys and girls. I'm so happy all of you are here with me today. Today is lesson W, Waiting to Speak Willa. And it is on learning to wait. So many of us, we want it now. We want to be able to get the candy now. We want to play our video games now. And sometimes we just have to say in our head, I can wait. So say that in your head right now, I can wait. Excellent. Okay, let's sit up tall where we are and let's get our body moving because it feels good to move, doesn't it? We're gonna make some shapes today with our body before you listen to Waiting Willa's story. So sit up tall, press your bottom into the ground and lift the crown of your head right away. Shoulders back. Let's start by doing some square breathing. Now this isn't a perfect square, but we're going to breathe in and then we're gonna hold our breath, and then we're gonna breathe out, and then we're gonna hold our breath. It's called square breathing. So sit up tall. All right, and I'm gonna use my fingers to hopefully be able to show you this. So I want you to inhale through your nose, inhale, hold it, exhale, hold it. Let's try it again. It's four lines here the square. This is actually a rectangle, so we can call it rectangle breathing. All right, so here we go. Breathe in, hold, breathe out, hold, breathe in, hold your breath, breathe out, hold your breath. Now let's just join that together. Let's try it without looking at that. Breathe in deep, Hold your breath, breathe out. Hold your breath, breathe in, pause, breathe out, pause. As I'm sitting here, I'm looking at a banana tree. And you know, banana trees teach us a lot because trees, they don't produce bananas right away. We have to, we have to wait for them. So I want you to be like a banana tree today and remember that we have to wait for the good stuff. A lot of times I keep waiting every day and we can't rush nature, can we? We can't say to the banana tree, come on, let's go, go faster. We have to just be patient and wait. All right, let's do some more breathing and stretching. First of all, now we're gonna make a diamond with our body. So bring your heels together and see if you can see a diamond shape. I can look at my heels, press your heels together and press your big toes together. If you have shoes on, just press your shoes together. And now look down and you can see a diamond shape. Let's breathe here together. Breathe in. And when you exhale, see if you can bring your heart closer to your big toe. Don't push it though. You don't need to push things. Just gently breathe in and lean forward just slightly. Excellent, breathe in and lean forward. Beautiful. Okay, now let's cross our legs and we're gonna make a circle now. Let's start out by making some small circles with our body. Just small to begin one way and then go the other way, not hurrying. I want you to go slow today and be patient. Excellent. Okay, sit up tall. Now let's make bigger circles. Okay, so really come forward and then go all the way around and maybe have your hands on your knees and lean way back. Watch your personal space. Lean forward, inhale. On the exhale, let's just lean way back. Okay, let's go the other way. Okay, lean forward and go the other way. It's kind of hard, isn't it? Make a big circle. Oh, yes. Lean forward, inhale. On the exhale, lean way back. Learning to be patient. Learning to wait, aren't we? Okay, good. Some circles we made. Now we're going to make a try. Oh, let's make an X. So everybody stand up. Okay, and make a big X with your body. Yeah, big X. Okay, let's do 10 
jumping jacks. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, back to an X. Okay, now we are going to make a triangle. So bring your hands straight. Actually, you can make a T too, can't you? We have a T. Now bring your legs back out to an X. Point this toe straight away from you so it's pointing with your finger. Okay, arms are straight out. Good. Now keep this leg straight and reach out over that straight leg and see if you can come down. How many triangles can you find in my body? Let's take three breaths. Ready? Breathe in. Breathe out slow. Breathe in. Stretch your fingers high. And breathe out. Breathe in, I see you. And breathe out. All right, come back up to X. Five more jumping jacks, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Let's make an X. Let's try some heel clicks. Three heel clicks, ready? See if you can click your heels and bring your feet back out to an X, ready? One, two, three, excellent. Now straighten your other leg. And point your finger out straight arms straight legs now reach out over that leg and bring your hand down to your knee or your shin find that triangle area open your up here and breathe ready breathe in breathe out breathe in and breathe out come all the way back up to X and put your hands together okay now we're going for the hardest most difficult pose today. And they call this half moon. It's almost like a K, almost like the letter K. I'm gonna bring this coconut because I sometimes need a little help. Maybe you don't need a coconut, but I just want you to try it with me. So back out to an X. Point your toe towards the coconut and point your finger towards the coconut. Bring your hand down on your thigh, slide it down. Here we are in triangle. So to go to half moon, guys, it's really fun. So you have a straight leg. I want you to just bend this knee a little bit and see if you can walk your fingers out towards the coconut. Let's see if Miss Frizzy can do this today. All right, and then I'm gonna lift my other leg up for half moon. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can take my gaze or my eyeballs up to the sky. And now here I breathe. So breathe in. Breathe out. Maybe I can take my hand off the coconut and pull the platter. Good. Maybe not. Come back up. Let's try it to the other side. If you don't have a coconut, you can use a big tall soup can. Whatever feels right. Okay, so you're in your X. Point your toe away from you. So your toe is pointed directly at that coconut. Okay, so you're opening your hip. So when you bend your knee, your knee and your big toe are lined up. Okay, so we're gonna be an X first. Point your toe away from you, bring your hand down, roll it down. Here we are in triangle. We've been here, look up to the sky, take a big breath in and exhale. Here we go to half moon. So bend your front knee, walk your fingers out towards that coconut and then see if you can lift your back leg up for half moon almost like a letter K if I could lift my leg higher. Some of you can lift it higher. And then take your gaze up towards the ceiling and add a couple breaths. And if you fall, you always get right back up and try again. Because falling makes you stronger. And breathe here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Slowly lower down. Back to the X. And come back to the ground. Let's go ahead and do a circle again. Circle one way, make it bigger, way bigger than you did before. Lean way back and forward. Go the other way, lean way back in your circle and to the front. Okay, so boys and girls, I want you to really look at yourself today and be aware or really notice if you're wanting something now if you're trying to, to interrupt your mom when she's talking, or if you're interrupting whoever you're with, I want you to say, oh, I need to maybe 
stop and wait my turn. Just like waiting Willa had to learn because she used to always interrupt people and want to be able to talk all the time and she had to learn to wait. Boys and girls, make it a super exciting day today. Be aware of yourself and what's going on in your body. Try to do a half moon. You can even do it on the wall if you want. All right, have a super day.